Well, alright, if we can't do that, I've already re-explored the Venus area. I didn't go into the upper layers, but I might do that off-screen and see if there's anything up there. And if there's anything up there, I guess what I can do is I can come back and tell you guys about what I found and just, like, show it off, whatever it is. So I guess it's not all that bad. So with that being done, let's head back to the desert and I'll re-explore the desert and then we'll go into the bee factory again. And, uh, we'll re-explore the bee factory. So we got two places left. We also have to go to the bandit fortress for a couple side quests, but I can't remember what we have to go to the bandit fortress for exactly. Uh, let's see. Does it give me a... Oh, it's read more. Okay. Don't wander into the outskirts. Some midges stung me in the tunnel down south, so I dropped my ball and ran away. Okay. Oh yeah, the books. We should return to town and give the book back. This guy wants a meal from the fly man, but I can't remember exactly what he wants. Uh, what do you want? Oh, parts, right, for the trinket thing. Okay. This guy wants terrible books, so we'll just look for a guy with cool shades. We'll go talk to fucking Weedle and do his stupid nonsense shenanigans. And, uh, we'll go to the library and return the book, and then we will go to Keanu Reeves and return him his very bad books. So let's go do that real quick. That might net us some good rewards. Because I'm gonna be honest, I'm hurting for berries. I need money to sleep at inns. Even if they are terrible and hurt my spine. Weedle the Pokemon? I don't know. I don't know anything about Pokemon. Except some of the girls are really cute. That's it. And Ash is like an 80 year old man living in a 10 year old's body. Oh yeah, answer me this, actually, Kipper, if you wouldn't mind while you're here. Do I need to do side quests to unlock these things? Because I feel like I do. Don't forget I can run. Wait, you... Wait, do you, do you, do you mean to tell me that this has been just walking speed this whole time and there's a run button? Or do you mean like this? Do you mean like with the dash or whatever? You don't need to do a side quest, but there's somebody to talk to, okay. Do you mean that guy in the valve? Like, like, hold on. You wouldn't happen to be referring to the guy that's like over here behind the bushes, would you? I know that's kind of a weird shady question, but you wouldn't happen to mean this guy, right? Like whoever this is? Because I've already talked to this person before. No, you mean the dash? Okay. Yeah, I know about the dash, I just don't use it very often, honestly. Oh, there's Leaf and Celia, that's right. I have to do a quest for them too, but it's like a hyper dangerous one that I don't know if I'm prepared for or not. Wait, what do you want? How can any bug live here? The sun is so strong. You're a fucking bee, you love the sun, idiot. There's something different that you should probably help people for? Okay. I've already returned this gentleman's hat, I don't know what more I can do than that. I guess what we'll do is we'll go to the Ant Kingdom library and return the one book. And then we gotta find Keanu Reeves. Oh, that run is- hold on. Yeah, see, that's what I thought. I was gonna say, I remember this run being very difficult to control, but it's actually really fast. So yeah, I guess you're right. I should probably use this more often. It's actually not that bad, honestly. Once you get a little bit used to it. Uh, let's see. Lore book. Oh yeah, that's right, I have to talk to the blue one now, don't I? Oh yeah, that's right, the red one is the moody one. 25 berries, nice, cool. I was hurting for some berries, that's good. Oh, it's Keanu! Nice. A bee, a beetle, and a moth? You must be explorers to enter this library. Says the wasp, we saw your request. You're, um, searching for terrible books, correct? That's right. But why? Aren't they, like, bad? Yes, but there's some sort of angry comfort in witnessing their poorly composed narratives. We're not here to judge, so any leads on these books? Not really. I reckon other cultured bugs with a collection have bad books lying around. They usually let bugs take them for free. Yikes, you can't even sell those books. We must do this job, team. This fellow is the only one who will give them a good home. I've made this library my den. I'll be here if you find something. 
What, you just made the library your den like you're just trespassing here and loitering? Okay. Tragedy on the hills. This was supposed to be a murder mystery. The real mystery is how this got published. Ugh. Uh, are you sure you want this? Yes, it's going straight into my collection. Here's your reward. 35 berries, what the fuck? Dude, I found like 20 books for the other lady and she didn't give a shit. I give this guy one book and he gives me a fortune. Also, 69 fucking berries, lads. We did it. I almost don't want to give him any more bad books. Kabu is the greatest character? I don't know, man. I'm in love with V. Before I met V, I never knew that I was into B sexually. But V is fucking amazing. Our twisted summer. Why was so much time spent setting up all those characters? There were at least three characters not mentioned post page 75. This includes the main character. Uh, so it's like good, bad? It's atrocious and disgusting. Perfect for my bookshelf. Here's your reward. Another 35. Oh my god, dude, he's amazing. I love this man. I just met him and he's already given me like, like $70. 70 berries if berries like I don't know how the exchange rate works from dollars to berries But I'm pretty sure if I tried to pay for something at 7-eleven with berries They wouldn't let me You won't talk about this at all. I appreciate it, dude I never knew I was attracted to bees until V came along. I swear to God And then I met the overseer at the beehive Jesus Christ There's way too many cute bees in this game, dude. I hate it. Like I love it, but I hate it I've been over this before at an earlier date. Wait, hold on, I have to go back to the- ah, uh, that's right, hold on, hold on. Hold on a minute. I have to go back to the- huh, to go to the- mm. That's right. I remember now. I have to go down here to get to the place, to go to the stuff, to do the thing. Hello, sir. Hello, Team Snake Mouth. I can bring you to many places, some for a small fee. Oh, that's cool. So he just takes you directly to places, so he's like a fast travel. Okay, that's neat. Yeah, that, that's kind of what I'm doing. That's what I'm trying to do. It's just weird because I don't know exactly where to go. And like where things are. So I guess what we're going to do is we're going to go to the bandit fortress, but I wanted to give that lady her silk, and I know she's in the Golden Hills, so I just don't know where she's at in the Golden Hills. So I don't know exactly where she is. Wait, that's not what I wanted to do. Wait, hold on. Oh, I see! There's signs! I'm such a fucking dipshit! How did I not see that before? I'm so dumb. Can I hint a quest for you that's really useful? Yeah, absolutely. No problem with that kind of stuff. Not at all. See, I'm trying to get as much shit done as possible, but it's weird because I don't know the navigation and I don't know exactly where I'm going to. Wait, hold on. There was something to do with the bandit fortress. Let me check my quest again really quick. Because I know there's a shortcut in the well. Because I was dicking around off screen and I made my way back into the bandit fortress. No, no. You. Oh, Defiant Root Blacksmithy. Okay, let's go to the Blacksmithy, then, which I think is back this way. I think it might be up here. I never saw the signs. No, I did not. I did not see the signs. I am very, like, so, like, I'm very intuitive when it comes to very, like, out-of-the-way things, but I'm really blind and stupid when it comes to incredibly obvious things, because I overlook shit. You took my request, didn't you? We did. Beat some bandits, is that it? Yes, these blasted bandits. I will never forgive them. Please, I cannot go myself. I have my reasons. Besides, I'm not equipped for it. Leave it to us. We will teach those evildoers a lesson. You have my gratitude. I need you to defeat at least 20 of them. Any of them will do. Be it the dragonflies, the crickets, the ladybugs, whichever. Just beat them up so they stop attacking the citizens of Defiant Root. You got it. Just have our reward ready when we're back. As long as they stop attacking us, you shall receive your reward. Notify me once you've beaten 20 of them. 
Wait, do I have to fight them in actual combat, or can I just bump into them? Explorer teams usually give good rewards for challenging quests. Ah, I see, so like Leaf and Celia, right? Miss Potomu, we've seen your listing. Is that so, noble explorers? You found the Crimson Ore. No, I have not. Okay, Crimson Ore. Alright. And also, the blacksmith is a lady. I'm very confused. Like, usually women blacksmiths are typically really hot. Like, I don't know if you guys have played the Shantae series, but Jesus Christ. There's a female blacksmith in there? That is just like... Like, she's just like, fucking holy shit, dude. You've done it, haven't you? I can tell their foul deeds have become less frequent. Good job. Justice has, in fact, been delivered. If only I had more to give, here's what I promised you. A freeze resist medal. Good shout, Kipper. Thanks, bro. Good shit, dude. Ha! <laughs> I just got a reward for doing shit I've already done. That's the best kind of reward there is. Yes, I have fucked up a bunch of bandits. And I've been fucked up by no bandits, although their leader nearly fucking killed me when I fought his dumbass. Because he did that multi-turn bullshit, too. I want to know how to fucking break these. Like, I don't. I know it's an ability that you get later, but I do want to break them. I just don't know how. It's gotten- it's gotta be an ability that Kabu gets. It's- it's gotta be. It's gotta be a Kabu ability, because I can't imagine anybody else breaking something that dense. Oh, come on, game. Game. Come on, man. It's a good fight. It's a rough fight, dude. I got my ass kicked so bad. Like, literally, Kabu, I think, was my last character standing, and I had, like, two health left, and I was blocking everything he did. And, like, the only reason I won that fight is because I learned the timing for his block stuff. Leaf will simply use the force to lift them? Yeah, maybe. Possibly. So this is where I have to go. I have to go up there, but I don't want to go up there yet. Because that goes to the Wasp area. That goes to the Wasp Kingdom, and I'm going to do the Wasp Kingdom next stream, I think. I'll probably do some grinding off-screen and try and get a bunch of items and get a shit ton of berries and stuff like that. May dick around off-screen and look for some more metal, so I'll try and fill you guys in on what I end up doing off-screen. If I do end up doing stuff off-screen. Hey look! A bandit! Defito Bandito! Yeah, that's right, motherfuckers. Be afraid. I can kill you simply by touching you. Wait, hold on, that means I can defeat everything in the desert by touching it, yeah? Okay, that's cool. You know what isn't cool? Death Pits of Sand. It's very not cool. We learned that in the fucking Sand Palace prison area place. Nice, okay. I haven't been over there yet. How do I get over there? I'm curious about that. Like, there's an area transition right there, obviously, but I don't know how to... I don't know how to reach it quite yet. Unless I have to use Kabu's dig ability in a place that I just overlooked before. Maybe that's what it is. And they won't let me dig under the rocks, so I definitely can't do that. So maybe that's an area that I can't get there... Like, yet. Maybe I need that rock breaky ability to be able to get there. It's very possible. Fuck off, Cacti. Wait, this is the Bandit Fortress. That's right, I've already been in there, so I'm not worried about the Bandit Fortress. So I've already been there. I've been up there, because that's where I met with Hawk. Have I tried walking there? Yeah, I actually have. And it's just a giant death pit of sand, so... Wait, this heads back up to the Sand Palace, doesn't it? Yes, okay. Did you... Yeah, I did do the wheel thing. Yeah, I did the wheel thing forever ago. The hawk thing took you so long to figure out? Really? I just looked at the giant indentation in the dirt, and I was like, oh, big thing, big area to put big thing. And I was like, oh, okay. Yeah.
Yeah, that's the shelter that Zasp built for Leaf when he got punctured by the scorpion. I remember that. Didn't think to freeze the enemy? Yeah, it took me a minute to... Like, it took me a, a little bit. Like, at first I went around here thinking there was some sort of back way up, and then I was like, oh yeah, I forgot Leaf can freeze things, and then I just, like, jumped on it and jumped up there. That's understandable, though. I can see how that would be overlooked. It's kind of hard to remember, like, when you have to use all the abilities in this game. Like, it's very blatantly obvious, but, like, I just overlook things because... Either I think things are naturally part of the environment, or, like, I don't think to use certain things in certain places. Ah, this is the area I was looking for. Okay. Depth perception sucks. Okay. We made it. It's fine. Okay. What's that dealt with? the bandit dealt with. So where else can I go? This is the little plant, dude. I'm not worried about the little plant, dude. I've already been up there, so I'm not concerned with anything up there. There's another map transition, but yeah, I was gonna say this. Actually, you know what? While we're here, there's a lady in here missing some silk that I have to find. And you know what? It just occurred to me that she might be in one of the houses that I didn't check while I was over here last time. Like, I checked the houses before, but I didn't check the houses all over the place. So maybe she's in here? No, she's not in there. Wait, hold on a minute. These tables look just like that thing in uh, the Ant Kingdom with the guy in the grate or whatever that I can't talk to. Did you read where this lady lives? No, I didn't know it told you where they live. Like, it said Golden Hills rough area, but like, I don't know where in the Golden Hills at all. Like, this place isn't that big. There's only, like, three or four map transitions, so it can't be that far out of the way. Although, you know what? It does show me a picture of the NPC, so maybe that would help. For reference. Is it you? No, you're the one that wants the water. Okay, visit my bakery. I can do that. It's not you. You're the th person that wants the thing from the Bee Kingdom. You want me to find your stupid butler. What do you want? Ah, here we go. Okay, so you're kind of a moth lady and you're pink? Wait, Crispy is a cool dude? Fuck, like, the genders of characters in this game really throw me off. That is one very scary thing about playing this game. Is, like, if you start talking to an NPC that looks like a dude and give them a gruff voice and they turn out to be a lady, it's really weird. Wait, it's not you. Okay, so her shop must be down. Wait, which one? The one that wants the silk? I already have the silk. Like, the silk isn't the problem, it's the character I gotta find. Lost item, here we go. Stolen item. Some bandits stole some rare silk from my store. I need someone to retrieve it for me. Talk to me in my shop in Defiant Root for more information. I'm in Defiant Root right now. So... That just means I gotta figure out where this bitch lives. And I don't know where that is. There seems to be an area transition down here, but... Defiant Root looks very golden. This is Defiant Root, isn't it? I know I've been to Defiant Root before. Wait. Yeah, this is the Golden Hills, isn't it? Looks very golden, but I haven't. I'm fucking stupid, aren't I? 